Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to look how to create this terrain. In this actually combine many ter different terrains. You can see already it is stacking them. We have a kind of distribution, a rocky path going to the top and some dissolve or um, aged on the end. So almost you can create like ice or glacier maybe with those rocks is give you some ability but it is um some different ways we can create it and give you a basic understanding of how you can mix nodes together to create all this mix different type and shapes terrain and combine them blend them together okay so sometimes i created mountains and i want to have it maybe like ice on the bottom big chunks or rocks that may falling down kind of like heavy big rocks on the bottom and go to the mountain so we'll look on techniques that can you used with your other mountains to create so we won't go too much in details how create mountain itself more about these edges around mountains how it can blend together so let's create it by starting with the radial right there and this is our location radial we going to increase size so we'll put right there okay next we want to kind of add maybe erosion to this and it will be very basic basic our mountain so we'll go to um natural erosion add right here we'll go just add channel erosion to this let's pop up a little bit higher here so just some effect that we can have to use it basic basic for um kind of our mountain okay let's look right there this is our mountain and you know what i probably want a little bit to recenter this so we'll go set current and let's go right there okay and just place a little bit more in the middle okay so before we continue with this mountain now i want to create this rocks around our mountain and i'm going to use it um kind of burn i probably for this so we'll go back here so this is will be our basic rocks and to do this we'll take them and scale down to maybe around 800 this is will be good let's go to f1 cell so you can see they already look very nicely f2 we used kind of similar some techniques and other ones but again it will helpful to um kind of look and anyway, you can play with the shapes if you want at this point we can preview and you can see this is kind of interesting rocks can be or basic for the our rocks okay next i want to take these rocks and kind of extract them from shapes so i'll go again select connectivity and we go collect connect this one and i want next it's using actually clamp so i want extract but i want also extract them in a specific way so we'll go open this one actually you know what it does help when we connect first let's go connect there so we'll open here and we'll go to expand and we'll take this one and bring all the way to maybe about 40 to 30 uh, you know what let's go let's leave it here click ok um you can see right there we have a nice map of these rocks okay um next i want to little bit blur them because i don't want necessary have it kind of strong strong line there going so we'll go add blur to this i will just blur for now to two you can increase and blur will play, pay attention depending on what resolution you have it so the higher blur lower blur depend you have it 1024 pixels or how's your terrain so you may have it some effect on this and um but because it's blur now i want to create a little bit more rocks from this so i'm going right here and use it the expand 
actually I don't need equalizer I need my expand one right here so and I'm going to take this expand connecting okay and let's go and expand we'll go use it hybrid and we'll pop up this maybe to the 10 or 9 let's see 9 on this point okay right there I think this is right and you can see kind of almost looking if we look on this they look cool almost like a punch frogs already kind of nicely located okay next before we using I actually need to invert this for my future use so I can have it more open dots instead the, you can see right here this is what I'm going for those rocks kind of looking okay this is very long line so let's move it a little bit right there um, now I want to kind of combine these two together um, let's create combiner but problem with combiner if I can go inside and just connect this one actually you know what this need to go problem secondary because I want to use this erosion but problem with this I need to connect and I need special map it so I need it select area where I want my rocks so for example on an edge and for this I need a set height for this mountain to do this we need actually in going inside the height selector we'll find right here and we'll go select this one add to the height selector and on the height selector we'll just invert for now um, let's set maybe 4 maybe around this one and we'll leave it this as 0 so maybe leave it too small we'll see maybe we come back and we'll link so this is will be 1 and we'll go select this as primary so you can write on top so we're going and you know what let's control paste so we'll have another selector now um, and this selector will go for another area so we'll same connect here open our selector and we'll take this one and let's go down all the way maybe to and I'm just watching right here how much it's growing maybe around this area so again we can play around a little bit more but this one I'll go and use mask so if you look on this map what we have we have it already very nice remember this mountain and we select our rocks so this area it's where the top mountain if I don't want it or I want some higher so we can also mask this out or we can also turn into the black which is will don't have them in this case let's go to combiner actually and you know bring a bit more and, you know, let's go actually to the max in this case so we'll combine that way okay preview you can see right here we have it height and kind of mask with the rocks dissipating again we can modify with selections for the mountain on this but overall here's a principle how we will create this um, let's go next and start creating a little bit more effect to this uh, we'll go to generator and we'll create advanced perlin for this and go our select and connect to our uh, mask the reason why we do this if you look with perlin we already have it rock so it just help us with this distribution and height to create all this different type of the rocks and of course inside the perlin we open and we can modify so we'll take and make a little bit less um, maybe about actually let's go all the way so let's go higher on this one we'll go also rigid we leave it as default take noise and kind of presence go down uh, because I modify other stuff I want to bring elevation up and maybe leave it stepness pop up okay we'll go preview see we have a nice rocks look right here this is beautiful rocks kind of applied okay 
let's go out of here and um, let's create more to the mountain from this point we'll do this in the next portion of tutorials